Welcome to another on Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you again the basics of ActionScript 2, and I'm going to show you how to do some cool rotation. Yes, you, we see that we're having some rotation. Wherever the mouse goes, this triangle follows. I know it looks a little silly right now, but I explain why it's kind of following it on the side. But for now, let's head over to Wikipedia. The reason why is we're going to learn about radians. Well, radians are a uh, unit of measurement for circles and whatnot. <laughs> Why should we even care? Because radians is how flash measures angles, and we're going to have to use um, a formula to convert radians back into degrees. Now, this may sound like a whole bunch of jargon, and you may be scared of math, but um, it's not that serious, so you just calm down there. You're getting me nervous, and one, you don't want to see me nervous. I turn into a uh, yellow monster or something like that. First thing, I'm going to go to New and go to Action Script 2. Press OK. Let's let's deal with the hard part first, and that is drawing whatever we're going to use to represent our uh, figure. I'm going to the Poly Star. Click on the Poly Star, and the way I get my perfect triangles, if you're wondering, is I go to the Properties Options. And I'm going for the polygon, put three sides, press OK. And when I draw, it gives me a perfect triangle. Isn't that just amazing? I know you're jealous. Why not bright blue to burn your eyes? All right. After creating it, I'm going to go to Modify and Convert to Symbol. And name it Shape. Press OK. Make sure your registration point is in the center. This is important because wherever your registration point is is where your movie clip will rotate on. So I'm rotating in the center so it'll look like a real rotation. If I rotate it at the bottom, it'll look strange. First thing, uh, this is where my content is, so I'm just going to rename this content. And I'm going to add a new layer. And in my new layer, I'm going to name it AS2. Lock that, lock that. Click on the AS2 frame. And now go up to my actions frame. On enter frame equals function we're saying we're setting the on enter frame function and we're setting it to the function we are creating right now oh I forgot something before we all get going having fun make sure that you give your hero an instance name so click on your movie clip properties I'll name it hero now we can lock it oh my goodness if if I didn't name it, I'm like, I don't know what would happen. Maybe Nicolas Cage would make another movie. Jeez. Okay, hero dot underscore rotation plus equal, let's say, five. Or no, that, was, that, that number is three. Okay. And we rotate it. Now, if we try this movie out, let's see what's going to happen. Oh, look at it. It's rotating. Wow, this is amazing. But you know what would be even cooler? To make it follow the mouse. So let's... Let's get into that. That's a more complicated feat. But you can see how rotation is done. You can write the hero's name, the dot, underscore, rotation. Make sure you have your spelling correct. Or it just won't work. And you'll be angry at yourself. And I'll be laughing. Maybe not laughing, but I'll chuckle a little bit. Alright, we can leave this part up. And we want to create a new function. And we're gonna. that function is going to be called, hmm, get mouse I'm gonna leave it at get mouse why not and I'm gonna open that up I'm gonna leave some parentheses because we want to put in a value and the value you want to put in is hero what do you mean putting in the value hero I'll show you what I'm doing so we created the name the function call now all we have to do is create the function so it's get mouse uh, is equal to a function and that function is going to take in an MC, which is, I'm using shorthand for movie clip. I put the semicolon and data type, that's going to data type it to movie clip. Because we don't want to put anything else other than a movie clip inside this function. We want to put another semicolon at the end. I know, I know, it's, it's painful, but you're going to be okay. And we want to return a number. Now, I was talking about radians and all that jazz. When are we going to get to see these magical radians? Um, well, let's get started. 
All right, the, the way we're going to do that is uh, now we have, we know that this function is going to return a number. So whenever this function is called, which it is called up here, every frame on enter frame, so every time it enters a frame, what it does is it calls this and sets that value to the rotation of the hero. Makes sense. So we have somewhere to put the hero. So it says, all right, we're going to take the hero MC and we're going to do something to it. All right, now it's time to put in some variables. dy, which is our dynamic y, or delta y, which represents the change in y. And um, I'll explain this, um, function, this um, equation, but what I really want you to know is that just because you don't understand something mathematically doesn't mean you can't use it. I like this expression that someone told me. Just because you can't build a toilet bowl doesn't mean you don't know how to use it. So, a lot of programmers, believe it or not, don't understand every single math equation, but they, as long as they know how to use it, it's, it's good. What's the use of understanding something you can't use, you know? What was I doing? I got confused with the toilet bowl. Um, I'm going to write the dy, and we're going to put underscore y mouse subtracted by mc dot underscore y this will give us this will give us the change in y so it's subtracting that if you don't know then um what i'm going to do is get the slope of uh, uh oh you know those high school and the slope of the i'm gonna get the slope this is what the slope is and from that i'm gonna get the angle of the slope and once i get that angle it will be returned in radians r a d is equal to math. Uh-oh, these math functions are they're crazy. Give me all these math functions for. Now what's happening is that we get the slope. If you don't know what the slope is, let's go back to the stage. All right, this is going to happen. I have, my, I have my mouse right here, and I have my movie clip right here, as you can see. And what's going to happen is that this calculation is getting this point and this point of the mouse that's what that whole value that's what those two equations are doing so it's making this line between them because it's saying okay if it's here if you have this point and you have that point then that means we can get this line between so we're saying all right we can get the line between these two so now what do we do with that line well we use the math equation a tan the a tan, what we use that for, is to get the angle of this line. So with the angle of this line, then we can say, oh, we have the angle of this line. Then we can apply that angle to this movie clip. And that means, eureka, we got it. So yes, in a nutshell, that's how it's going to work. So let's get back to our actions. All right, now the problem is that it's measured in radians. So what we have to do is make the equation to convert it back into degrees. Now why do we have to do all this? Because Flash loves us. That's why. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to write rotate is equal to the radian multiplied by 180 divided by math dot pi. That's magical. And what we want to do is last line return because we said we were returning a number it's time to fulfill that promise Barack Obama <laughs> uh, rotate and that should work let's see what's going on here. oh oh it's kinda working but there's a problem here it's going to the side just like before let's go back to the stage this X and Y right here and I wanna see the I'm measuring the line from here to like let's say this is the mouse and so when I rotate the when I move the mouse up it's keeping this straight line but we don't want it to measure from this side you want it to measure the line like this up and down and what we, that's what we're gonna do so back inside of our actions we are going to to the rotate we're just gonna put plus 90 it's already in degrees now because we did converting radians into uh, degrees. Now when we rotate it, oh look at that, it's magically looking at the mouse. 
this is amazing. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I mean, could you imagine maybe this is some of uh, a user's profile and this is their head moving around? Maybe you can go over to my website, orangeflash.blogspot.com. Click on an ad or two to put a few pennies in my pocket, and I will love you forever.